Yo, what up? This is dirty. So, just went, uh, just got back from hunting this weekend. So, luckily, we had a successful trip. Show you a little bit what I got and what I was using. So, first of all, I was luckily, lucky enough to get to use this awesome Tom Mayo fixed blade ivory handles. Beautiful knife, and it worked very well. I must have boned out like, uh, because they, everyone that went hunting there, <laughs> since I was like the young boy, you know what I mean, they was like, ah, make him do it, make him do it. I never really, I'd never done it before, so I learned how to over there, and, you know, I started getting better and better each one, so that's pretty cool. Um, I also carried this just in case, just for the elevate. I had a lanyard on it, but I actually used it to put a tag on one of the deer, because it, uh, this deer actually, when it was dragging it out of the brush, um, the tag got caught up once we got down to the road. We're like, oh shit, where's the tag? I had to run back up. Luckily, I had, you know, like a little paracord thing on this. Untied it, used it to tie my, um, you know, my tag onto the thing. So, I actually had this, but I didn't want to take it apart. So, instead, I just did the lanyard. It was a lot easier. Um, so, you know, another reason why it's good to carry the shit around. You know, who knows? Yeah, of course, you could have been just carrying around rope, too, you know. But I didn't have it, neither did the guy I was with, so whatever. So I was carrying this, just a, it's an old school knife. If you watch my, um, I got a video on my whole knife collection. It tells a little story about how I got this. It's like one of the first knives I got when I went hunting, so it's pretty cool. Um, so I was carrying that. Also, I was carrying this little light, just because I was kind of, you know, I didn't really need a flashlight, but I figured I'd have one just for the hell of it. Put a little lanyard on it. It's the Phoenix EO5. It's a funny story with this light, and uh, I'll tell you guys about it later. Got a fucking crazy stalker, man. But this is pretty cool. Um, this is actually the bullet from this. This is my buck, and this is actually uh, a friend's. So his is a lot bigger, but it's pretty cool. Anyways, I got to pull this out. It was actually right under the shoulder. I'll show you a picture of it, and it's just like a little bump on the shoulder. It was under the skin, so I just cut it out, and it was right underneath it. It's pretty cool. There's the bullets I was using. Let's see if I can get focus here. 7x57 or 7mm Mauser. Okay, so this was my buck. Had a you know velvet, a little raggedy ass velvet. Shit, I don't even know how long this is made, about 12 inches or something. Not too bad. But this is the bigger buck that a friend got. Nice velvet on this one. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty cool. This is an Axis deer. So. Uh, I got a doe also. Dirty girl got a doe. So. It's a good hunt. Um, hopefully I'll be putting up a video. Making a little bit of the some of the steaks. Making some garlic steak I think. So. Anyways, I hope you guys had a good weekend. It's dirty. Shoots.